Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Movie Star Entrepreneur Show. Today, well let me give you this line. Do you want to be remembered as a marketing genius or a marketing pussy? And you know who said that? All of you know the CEO of Salesforce.com. His name is Mark uh, Benioff. Anyway, he he gets into some controversial messes with people like Larry Ellison, who was Tony Stark's um, inspiration for um, Iron Man movies. Anyway, right now Benioff is 46. He's worth 1.8 billion, and like I said, he he puts himself out there in a way where I would want to talk about him. I like I like his style. Right now they have a 15 billion dollar market capitalization and he compares himself to Oracle. So in the first six years he's returned 36.8 percent a year to investors and Oracle in its first six years returned 36.4 so just a little less. Now can it reach the size of what Oracle has going on? It doesn't seem likely to me because a sales product is a lot different than a technological product so I don't know but who who knows there's other things that I thought were pretty cool like um, uh, he recently asked his 5,000 Facebook friends for a advertisement mock-up he showed them a few advertisement mock-ups and said which one do you do you like best and then people would comment and say what they liked best so I thought that was really cool that he uses social media just like we do in the same way um, I thought that was really neat only instead of him having a business that is going to go out to maybe tens of thousands of people his is going to go out to millions so I, I like that also they're talking about the fact that to be uh, make a bigger business so to go from a 15 billion dollar market capitalization to much bigger let's say a 250 million like a Microsoft or Apple he says you have to have cash so they're trying to acquire more and more cash here's a list of the biggest uh, cash laden businesses Microsoft has always been far and away the most they have 44 billion dollars in cash just waiting to buy any company that they need to as they need to buy it so they never have to worry about selling stock or anything they just have that in cash uh, Cisco has 39 billion Oracle 24 billion Hewitt, Hewitt Packard 15 IBM 11 billion um, EMC 7 billion, SAP 4 billion, and then Salesforce.com has 742 million. So I thought that's pretty good, and they're only a six six year old company. But that part, <clears throat> that part that he said, uh, do you want to be remembered as a marketing genius or a pussy? He told that to one of his uh, employees. He wanted to take a, um, a Terminator 3, an Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator th Terminator 3 movie poster image, and put some salesforce.com spin on it which is clearly illegal but he said screw it uh, we'll get publicity off using the thing and then we'll get publicity off the fact that people say they got sued so he thought it's way better he's kind of under the impression that it's better to be sued or fined and then pay that that fine or whatever the legal court court costs because you're going to recoup it many times over in publicity so he was fine with that and he I mean now it's become I guess a poster in their in their business do you want to be a marketing genius or a pussy I like that also another thing I mean Larry Ellison is really powerful Larry Ellison said some things about about Mark and then right when Ellison was giving this speech at a uh, tech conference and Benioff tweeted um, Ellison was saying about the the new cloud system that they're that uh, Oracle is putting together and and uh, Benioff tweeted back and said beware of the false cloud to his followers on Twitter and then they tweeted it and then it got to be a big thing because it I suppose it went on Gizmodo and mashup and stuff like that so it got around and so there was a little feud between this guy and Larry Ellison no I think Larry Ellison probably doesn't even really care about this guy yet. Um, maybe he never will, and maybe he will have to. But I think he probably thinks, tweet your, tweet your uh, Twitter followers. You know, I don't care. But I think it's just about having balls. If you want to do something, just do it, and then see, see what the fallout is, and then figure out how to, either get yourself out of it or, expand it if it if it turned out well. So, that's it. See you guys.